Hey everyone, Matthew Robinson back again, making a quick video before I have to go back to class today. But I wanted to talk about something that I just thought was, you know, was kind of near and dear to my heart. My heart's on this side. Uh, my heart's on this side. Anyway, <laughs> what's that all about? Anyway, I want to talk to you about something really important to me. Disney has just bought Marvel Comics. Why? 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 Disney bought Marvel, which is which is really big news, and a lot of comic geeks, and nerds, and comic fans are very upset about this, and some are indifferent to it, and some are like, ah, whatever. But people, either way, have an opinion about this. It is, it is a very interesting topic of discussion, if you ask me. There are plenty of videos about this, and uh, well, first of all, here's my thing. I don't think Marvel is going to change so much. By the way, they bought Marvel for $4 billion. That actually could be a low price, considering that in about five years with the movies that Marvel makes and the comics and the toy merchandise, you know, four billion dollars. I'm sure that's pretty easy for Marvel to obtain within a short period of time uh, in profits. So uh, that's kind of seems like a weird price for me. But Disney own is like Viacom. It owns a lot of c corporations. It owns, of course, the Disney Channel and all the Disney movies, the PG movies, but they also own movie productions like Dimension Films, which made the Scream franchise and the new Rob Zombie Halloween movie. To be fair, however, to the Rob Zombie Halloween movie, as one of my friends pointed out, Michael Myers does kill anybody who's having sex out of wedlock. So, you know, maybe he is kind of a Disney uh, character in that sense. I can just see it now, you know, with the new Disney mantra on Marvel. Zac Efron plays the love punisher, keeping the teenager from engaging in inappropriate sexual acts. But the one woman he can't stop is his own girlfriend. Vanessa, don't take off your shirt. I can do whatever I want. I'm Vanessa Hudgens. Anyway. Yeah, so, but... <laughs> Anyway, we can see here that Disney's going to own Marvel, which I don't really like. Why are they buying out another company? What is, does Disney really need to buy out Marvel? But I think everyone's freaking out when they say, oh my gosh, Marvel's going to become PG&G. Disney isn't stupid. Let's not get it twisted here, guys. They're going to do what keeps making money. So they're going to let Marvel still do its thing. And Marvel's going to make a lot of money. And then Disney's going to make a lot of money because Disney wants to grab that key male demographic. Like, right now, their top shows are like The Jonas Brothers and Hannah Montana. All right? Those aren't really male-themed shows. Okay? You know, most kids' shows today are suck. Nickelodeon's kids' shows, most of them suck. Most of Disney Channel's kids' shows suck. But that's a topic for a different time. The point is, they want more male viewers. And the best way to get male viewers is to bring comic book movies. Because we all go to the comic book movies. And then everyone's like, yeah, I'm so excited to see this. And the comic book nerd going like, I'm so excited to see this. And they leave it like, oh my gosh, why did they change this and that? Because it's a movie. Okay? Anyway, the point is, Disney, Marvel, it's been a joint union. And will it be a, a great marriage or will it be an unholy union? Or will it end in divorce? 50% of marriages end in divorce, people. This could be another one. It could be another one. And it could take years. It could take years for it to happen. You know, it could be one of those songs that just comes out of nowhere and just sidelines all of us. Or it could be like Nick Lachey and Jessica Simpson. Or even worse, Britney Spears and that guy she married for like 55 hours. It could happen like that. The point is, Disney owns Marvel. And uh, I just hope they don't mess with my stuff. I hope they don't make Peter Parker some like, you know, like Disney goofy vibe character. You know, like, uh, I don't know, it's like one, like the new Spider-Man video game, he's got to go save Donald Duck, you know, like, I hope they don't do that. Um, could this also mean possibly that some Marvel movies going to be released in 3D? Oh, please, no. Stop with the 3D movies. Pixar does it well. DreamWorks has its moments. But stop with the 3D movies. I cannot wait for Princess and the Frog. I'm going to go see Princess and the Frog just so I can support a 2D movie. Keep it 2D, people. It's classic. 3D is nice once in a while, but it's a novelty. Keep it 2D. All right? So that's what my just thoughts on the whole Marvel, uh, Disney marriage it's 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 uh it's complexing i'm like the guy in the back and i'm just like 
if any the pastor is like, you know, he's up like, if anyone has any objections to why these two should not be joined in holy matrimony, speak now or ever hold your peace. And I'm like in the back like, I don't know. Should I stand? Should I stand, Brad? I think I should stand. No, 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 Lisa's saying I shouldn't stand. I'm thinking about it. I am thinking about it. What? Well, no, 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 it's not right. This is right. This is their night. This is their special time. Just give it some time. No, I should say it now before it's get ruined. That's what my thoughts. Anyway. But check out my adventures with Matthew Robinson or all over YouTube. And remember to rate, comment, subscribe. And until next time, it's all in the air.